suffering with mental illness and have had a lot of struggles and breakdowns in their lives where they lost it. They went a little bit over the edge and went a little bit over the edge. So, anyway, I can chill right here at this bench that right now is label, labeling me a schizophrenic. And the reason why I say that is because when I sit here, I know I'm not schizophrenic, but I can rest and abide sitting here at this bench that's label, labeling me right now schizophrenic. That's how I take it. <laughs> and bye! Y'all take care! And, uh, I love people who are mentally challenged. Uh, they are a lot of times misunderstood. A lot of times misunderstood. They're not as crazy as people think they are. They, <laughs> by far, they know they're not crazy. They're just a little overlooked and misunderstood. I know how they feel because all my life I've been overlooked and misunderstood. But it don't matter. You know, God loved me. I love the Lord. I know who created me. I know, I know my equal part. So, I'm in tune with my spirit. And that, that's all that keeps my head afloat above the water. Because I often drown in it. I often almost drown in it. I don't drown. I almost drown in it. But I keep on riding away. Schizophrenia. Do I have schizophrenia? I talk to myself, but it's it's good talk. It's prep talk. It's self talk. It's talk that um, keep me connected to God. Keep me adjusted, uh, mind, body, and spirit. It keeps me adjusted in all elements of my life and of my being. But I. Um, I can relate to people that they call crazy because sometimes I can act a bit crazy but I know I'm not crazy uh, I worked uh, for a whole entire year with the mentally challenged and I believe it was a blessing sent to God sent from God the reason why I got the position working as a mental health paraprofessional here at a city's uh, at in the city of Little Rock at an agency that helps individuals challenged by mental illness. It's a disease. A lot of people don't understand it. And, um, but like I said beforehand, a lot of those people are not as crazy as you think they are. Some of them just very temper temperamental. Some of them are just high tempered. They're angry because they don't know how to express themselves with people understanding them in the sense of how they want them to understand them. So, therefore, they can become a little belligerent. They can be edgy. They can have an attitude. But that's where the inner part of you is supposed to be able to say, okay, let me stand back and uh, try to find an understanding to connect with this person whether it be a family member or whether it be a close friend of yours who are challenged by mental illness or whether it be someone you know that you have to take care of um, that are damaged psychologically, that have psychological issues. But um, for an entire year, I took time out of my life to step into their world and to understand their world and to understand them in every part of themselves uh, whether it be they struggle with an addiction issue or loss of their children um, abuse as a child sexual abuse right um, uh, just feeling alone left out and not part of society so I, I took the opportunity to dedicate my Self and stepped into their world to understand them. And I found interesting things out about all of them. 
had a case load up to about 50 clients. So you try challenging 50, 50 clients who are suffering with a mental disease. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to do it, but you can look at me all day long and say, okay, I see why she a little bit off because she able to adapt with those kind of people. That's not true. It's some truth to that, maybe. <laughs> we all have a, you know, a little bit of mental illness, whether we want to fess up to it or not. No one's perfectly normal. Nobody. Perfectly normal. Not one individual perfectly normal. So, you can all day sit up and act like you're perfect and act like uh, you all that and act like you just know it all, you got it all going and blase, blase, blase. But there's someone that know you better than you know you. And that is the man above who created you. So he know you're not perfect. And you can fool everyone else all day. You can drive around all day in your nice cars. You can uh, put on the best clothes. You can dress up to cover up. You can do whatever it takes to hide that person on the inside of you because there's always two sides to everybody. There's a good side and there's a bad side. So whether you want to admit or not that you don't suffer uh, in no area of your life, you lying only to yourself. <laughs> so, it's okay if they want to label me crazy, if they want to label me schizophrenic, they want to label me mentally challenged. I've stepped into that world. I know how it feels to, to be a part of that world. And um, I embraced it. And I understood to the best of my knowledge. I, I came in with the um, tools I needed to be able to adjust in those those um, situations with those clients at that particular time and met their needs in whatever area aspect of their life their needs needed to be met whether it was uh, financial issues or uh, whatever they needed to get back on their meds if they needed to uh, see the doctor again after so long not seeing the doctor whatever that issue may have been in their life uh, housing issues uh, issues with crime issues with court with uh, uh, whatever the issue may have been with them I just always knew how to meet their needs where their needs was needing to be met and I thank God because I asked God to hold my hand as I walked with them hold my hand as I try to understand them give me the willpower and the drive to help them in whatever aspect or, or way that I could and uh, I'm glad that he did that because um, I was able to do an entire year with a, a really big caseload a really huge caseload people case management is no joke so but I end up letting the job go because it was a lot of wear and tear on my body it was a lot of wear and tear a lot of stress I couldn't sleep I started having uh, sleep issues I started having problems with uh, my diet, balancing my own life, and it, it, it's, it's very challenging. It takes a lot of strength. It takes a very strong-minded individual, which 